left this morning at 5 a.m. and my little motor wasn't working so I pedaled all the way here. I got some good exercise. The weather's looking good. Well, I got enough styrofoam for a few more panels. I don't know, maybe six to eight. And this one came in some kind of cloth. I'm gonna have to open that up and maybe use it for something. Now I'm gonna go over to town and see if I can get some garbage styrofoam from some more people. Sometimes getting garbage from people is really hard. You walk in there and they have garbage and you say, can I have your garbage? And suddenly it's not garbage anymore. They want it. And then as soon as you leave, it's back to garbage. That's the worst case scenario. Uh, hopefully I don't run into too many of those today. Last week I did. A bunch. Man, I, th I think people just thought... I don't know, I bet I could get more styrofoam out of people if I charged them to take it away. Because then it would make more sense to people. Like, people sometimes have difficulty believing that someone's just trying to do something good. It's good for everyone, including themselves. And when there's a bit of money involved, suddenly all these people are like, Oh yeah, he took my styrofoam away for 25 cents. It was a good deal. I'll do it for free. I'll just take it for free, man. I couldn't get my motor working and I have two different power systems to run it off. Chances of both of them being broken is pretty slim. I'm pretty sure the motor has some kind of problem. And I'm getting seriously tired of factory manufactured things breaking. Oh, why, why did I even use that? None of the motors I've made have ever left me stranded. Not that I've never had a problem, but they've always gotten me home. So today, I pedaled all the way there and all the way back. Well, I've got full batteries, and I had tons of sun on the solar panels, and nothing that can use the electricity. Alright, I'm to see if I can rectify the situation before my next trip. You know, it's frustrating how much garbage is manufactured today. Oh, the companies know that uh, they make more money if they make something with obsolescence planned into it. So that's what we're stuck with until we as consumers stop buying the garbage. Okay, prepare for magnetic pressure. Go. Hopefully this will turn more. Oh, look at that. All right, please nothing melt or explode. Or... Okay, when I put this piece here, I'm going to need a rope sticking out of it that's going to go through some concrete up here and then connect to this pillar. So I just need to put the rope in there right now and then worry about the rest later. Wait a minute. I've already done one of these. 
Oh, there should be a rope in there. Oh, I totally spaced out. All right. Let me get this one in, figure out where it needs to be, and then I'll figure out how to get the rope in here too late. Today was a long day. I took our three visiting guests and my family out to visit people this morning. And we got back at 3.30. So there wasn't really enough day left to go work on my house. Except that I'm stubborn. So I threw a few things on my boat and pedaled over there as fast as I could. And I got three squares in, which is my standard day. My standard minimum day. <sighs> Now I'm just limping home, enjoying the sunset. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. I've been mixing my foam concrete in this here flower sack. It's not quite big enough and it leaks. I think it's time for a custom one.